What's going on, Minecraft fans? My name's Luke the Notable. And I'm the Taurus. In this video, we're gonna be surviving 300 days in Minecraft. Together. And it's definitely gonna be, uh, uh, well, what's the word? Notable. Perfect. Now let's go see what happens on day 201. Ah. Taurus and I are now back. Doesn't it feel great? It sure does. Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. I know we kept you <laughs> waiting, just like this bee you've been watching very carefully. Very much unlike Taurus, who just got stuck oh, in the sheep no! farm. Hey now, from my perspective, I was pushed. You can make it up to me with some new armor. So now I'm in the nether. I'm gonna get Tors some new netherite. She has a habit of falling in lava. This should help. I hate it when he leaves. I never know what any of these lovers do. I'm searching for a plot of land for a new house. Our old one is just too small. And some creepers moved in next door. I hope she finds a good spot. Can't wait to get to work after doing all this work. I thought it might be nice to live on top of this mountain. You know, look down on all the villagers. But I quickly realized that this would be way too much work in my serve. I mean, husband won't be home for a few more days. So I settled on a nice flat piece of property right by the old house. I built a high foundation, so we'll still be looking down on the villagers. I know Luke will like that. Oh, I will. She knows me so well. I'm a little scared to actually build a house, so I'm going to make the basement first. But I'm glad he's not here for this. He'd probably already be installing some overly complicated redstone entrance because he thinks he's so cool. Man, I can't wait to get back and start working on that house. First thing I'm going to do is install an overly complicated redstone entrance because I am definitely cool. Hey, I'm back. Now get naked. You should probably buy me dinner first. At least a golden carrot. He's a good man. He puts up with so much. You look good, honey. Purple's your color. There really isn't a day 208. That's what happens when you're on tours time. But then both of us forgot to record. So this is all of 209. At this point, the new house is pretty much just a big basement. And before we really get started on the house, I'm working on moving over all our items. This time around, storage will be much more compact. And Taurus is doing a great job working on the upper levels. And I really got to hand it to her. The location is absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, great view of the working class. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I think we're both a little sad to see the old house go, but let's all be honest, it's very inefficient. The storage is three years old and definitely shows. The new storage doesn't have every item, but at least I don't have to run a mile to get to the redstone. Wow, that looks super fun. I wish I could be running back and forth all day. While he was doing that, I was working on the house. I also killed more creeper neighbors to increase the property value. Bah! I'm building a disposal system, day 212. I know it's not that interesting. I wonder what Tors is up to. You ordered your loving wife to chop trees all day, so that's what I'm doing. Little did he know I was actually just grabbing more cats. All right, I'm going to the nether. Don't do anything too crazy. I lost interest in framing the house, so I started a hedge maze. Plus, Luke will probably just rip down all my walls when he's done with whatever he's doing. All right, I'm back. Time to rip out some of Torz's walls. Monumental day, though. We're finally sleeping in the new house. No roof, no windows, but with you, it's home. Yeah, that's cute and all, but it would be nice to have a roof and windows. Oh, that's storage is looking immaculate though. The old storage is looking quite depressing, but you know, that's a good thing. If it was up to him, he'd be living underground, but thanks to me, he will have tasteful stained glass windows. The storage is now done, and I know you really don't care and just want to see what Tors is up to. I'm struggling to do a staircase. Please help so I can go back to my hedge maze. Sorry, hon, can't help. I'm underground, making the potion room unnecessarily difficult to get to. You should be doing this part of the house anyway. I'm gonna fall and die. Let me show you. Oh. You'll be fine. No, I have no, carved stop. you out of marble. Ah! Oh, you're right. Thanks. Haha, -ha, potion room hidden behind a crafting table with a piston. It's too complicated. She says that like she's ever going to brew a potion ever. Well, he's right. But the best builds don't use redstone, like my hedge maze. No, I agree. It does look nice. Fantastic addition, honey. My style's a little less pretty and totally safe, but at least nothing will spawn down here. Hey, too dark up here. That's a violation of the safety code. All right, Tors, I, I love you and all, but I think it's time that I take over the framing. I can't believe she thought using unstripped logs was going to be okay. That's right. Yes. Strip. Huh, ah, ah. Uh, uh, are you okay? Tors hasn't been recording for a few days. That's why you haven't heard from her. I'm just trying to make the house work. With her layout, it's been a bit of a challenge. I'm trying not to move her walls, though, because that's just what she said I would do. And after a lot of playing around, I finally found a decent spot for a staircase. It all makes very much sense. Staircase and a sitting room in a game where you can't sit. But it's not done. I feel unsafe in this bedroom. I need to add more torches. Luke's been talking for a little too long. I'm going to take the reins back here. 
He just loves to hear his own voice. All he had to do was tell me to strip the logs. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm not a nerd like him. I'm a cool nerd. I'm definitely not so afraid of the dark that I put torches on the ground like a psycho. Hey, at least we're back on the same page about my stained glass idea. It's making the house look so nice. Luke had an idea for a brick chimney. I liked the idea. I just didn't want to do it. I worked on the landscaping, which of course is looking terrific. I just made that up. This is a gated community, you creeper! Hey, honey, hedge maze is done! Ah, oh, notable. Let me try it out. Oh, wow. It took him way too long to get through such a small hedge maze. But it was entertaining, watching him scurry around like a little rat. Most worlds have a pretty poor use for the dragon egg, but Tor's found a place for ours. It's day 222, and the house is getting ready for its debut. Today, I put in a porch that lets us look down on the villagers even better. Next time, I gotta be faster ah! about putting in the railings. Then Tor's wanted me to rip out the windows. I thought she liked them. Women. I was putting in two-toned windows, thank you very much. I put stained glass all over the town. Maybe the villagers will finally appreciate me. I also moved a new cat family in. Luke can't stop me. They only listen to me. Planning ahead, we'd like to use some newer blocks on the house, but this world is old, so we need to travel for that. And unfortunately, we don't have a good way of getting lots of rockets for travel. So I'm gonna build a monster farm. The only problem is, monster farms are totally ugly, and I don't want to wreck the look of the town. Luckily, there's a giant hill right by town, and I should be able to fit a monster farm inside. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. I'm just supervising to make sure it doesn't look bad. It's just a simple dark room farm. I say that because I know you're all nervous and know what I mean. I've never built one inside of a mountain before, but it wasn't too bad. I just carved it out. Didn't have to waste any blocks. It fits in great. All around, awesome idea. Very much unlike all of these cats. I can pretty much do whatever I want in this town as long as it's hidden far underground. I've buried sheep, melons, villagers. Tours doesn't know the half of it. Honey, you would puke, piss, and cry if you knew how many cats I've euthanized. We are not the same. He said to put cats in the corner of the monster farm. I don't know why, but I do have a lot of spare cats that I don't care about. Well, I guess the farm works. It trapped Tors and all her cats. Collection was the last thing, and now it works perfectly. We should at least have some form of gunpowder revenue. And the best part is it's all hidden. That homeowners association won't know a thing. I spent the day in a dark monster farm herding cats because Luke did not make an exit. After much work from both of us, we can now officially say that the farm is done. Creeper spawn on, go in the middle, get killed. It's simple, but, uh, doesn't really work. One zombie spawned the whole day. It's probably because not much of our area is lit up, but that's an issue for another day. I built a serene waterfall. And at least it works. Day 229, I decided to move the beacon over to the new house. I'm just gonna have to fill this hole before Torres notices. And after getting approval from the town council, we found a new spot for a beacon. Our town's pretty quaint, so we don't have enough money to make a full beacon, but at least we get jump boost now. And if you're wondering, the monster farm still ain't doing much. I'll fix that today with a new design. I'm not gonna let this go. So monsters spawn here, but real slow, and I have to kill them, meaning many despawn. So I put down some magma blocks from the nether. That should slowly kill monsters and I shouldn't have to do anything. The collection system had to be totally redone, the floor had to be ripped out, but you know, now it works good. Still slow. Oh yeah, so slow. But over time, it will give us free stuff. Day 231, Tors and I went spelunking. We were looking for deep slate. We'd like to use that material for our roof, but weren't able to find any. It wasn't a total waste. We got many other ores. It's been a while since we went down in the caves. Oh, it's a big day. Real hard. Gotta go unwind my bag. Oh my goodness, this is too many cats. The dander. I I can't breathe. I guess I'll just snuggle in. Another reason we're down in the caves is the more lights we put up down here, the less monsters spawn and the better our monster farm will do. I also just like battle. Hit me harder. I'm collecting vines. All this lighting will make the monster farm better and our land more safe. I mean, look at this. We got vagrants just chilling. That won't do. I sneak out at night and kill them. Don't tell my husband. Monster grinders already a bit better. Six gunpowder is better than nothing. Now, if we want rockets, we'll need sugar cane too. And this is all we've got that just won't do. So I built an automatic farm underground so tours won't see. Looks good and works good. That's all I wanted for a day of labor. I don't know if he realizes I've gotten more gunpowder just shooting creepers than his entire industry. I'm not gonna say anything. One of the last things our new house needs besides a roof is a new nether portal. And unfortunately there really just isn't anywhere to put it. 
So it's going underground with a secret lever. Again? And you know I just can't put a regular portal down here, bro. I gotta flex my redstone knowledge so my wife thinks I'm cool. It's got an on button now that kind of works. And now an off button that floods the entire room. <laughs> All right, I ripped everything out because none of it worked together. I'm not that good at redstone. Don't, don't tell her. After a long day of more redstone wiring, I got it working and now it's time to show the wifey. I know he just built this to impress me and that means much more to me than any nerdy redstone. Plus, I'll never use this. I always send him to the nether for me. I built this because it's nether time. Click. Gotta love that. I don't remember when I built this tunnel, but I built this tunnel. It definitely wasn't Tors. It simply takes you a few thousand blocks away so you can find some deep slate. And that's what I did. This'll make a nice roof. Tors and I both took the trip day 237. He's a Minecraft YouTuber and I'm a miner. And after all of that hard work, I literally put a roof over our heads. Now that right there, that is is not a house. That is a home. It'll never be done, no. We'll do little things to it here and there. I already can't really stand these stairs. Oh yes, the honey-do list is already growing. <laughs> Not much happened day 238 from both of us. Some days are like that. I put a lightning rod on top of the house. There's that. Bing! Got an idea and this one's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you know it's gonna be awesome because I went to the Badlands for terracotta. You all know it's a good idea because I came along to help. We out here making cat monuments, oh yeah. The Binks was the first because he's the best. And we have wild dreams of displaying every type of cat up here on this mountain. A monument to all of those members of the family and all of those cats who were bonked by Tors. Plus, uh, there was nothing on this hill, so it'll work. Construction's going well, even though Tors almost executed this cat. We want to put the actual cats in front of their cat heads, so that would have been a major setback. And yes, we will do all 13. It's gonna be a monument. Just four already look amazing. Can't wait till we see all of them. I'm in charge of grabbing all the cats because they don't listen to Luke at all. <coughs> Looking around the town, I realized we don't have that many variety of cats actually living here. And when I went over to my cat town, I found it dry too. I got the feeling this monument will take a lot longer than expected. So apparently we have less cats than we thought. That's fine, we can always go get more. And we will need more. We've got four of 13. She probably just bonked too many. She gets a little crazy with that ax. Still dry over here. I think I may have bonked too many. While Tors was realizing the gravity of her past sins, I created some planter boxes. It's a very simple design, but it'll add to the texture of the house, something I never thought I would care about. I even matched the flowers to the window colors. How artsy! Was a little more difficult to put them in on the second floor, but I wanted them done. When Tors gets back, she's gonna be so surprised. There's a good chance she won't even notice them. They are kind of subtle. This side of the house was so flat before. I gotta pat myself on the back for that build. No cats today, but coming home to new flowers Hours made it a little better. Taurus found me a fancy smashed in face cat, so I'm back to building heads. She provides the cats and I provide the pixel art. So far, it's working fantastically. Later on, I had some time, so I redid the stairs to the house. The old stairs had no railing, and I know neither of us take any fall damage anymore, but it just felt wrong not having one. And we still don't have one, because I can't make up my mind on a design. I'm making a villager breeder to get more cats, and I wanted to build with brick. Took another day to tinker with the stairs, and this is what I came up with. It's lit and has a railing. It also now functions as a wall, and you know how much I love my walls. After another day of labor, I decided to visit Tors, see what she was up to. I like the brick breeder. I normally just use cobblestone. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's like no cats here at all. They must have heard what she does to them. If things go according to plan, then no one will hear what I've done to them. Now I'm back to the main town where I'm doing my favorite thing, walling. The new house is beautiful, but it's unwalled, so I hate it. The wall expansion will protect the villager breeder too. And since installing this beacon, we can jump right over the walls. Super safe. What a lovely day to rip out the things that I've already built. These stairs don't have to be nearly as robust with the new wall, so I'm gonna change them. Pretty solid day until I saw a zombie in the wall. How did you get in? I have no idea where that zombie came from and it's going to drive me insane. Well, at least I'll be safe in my estate. Good luck, villagers. All this work on walls just had me ripping a lot down. There's a lot of weird spots. This world is old. This entire section over by Cat Mountain has always made me nervous. I know, I know. We try to make things look nice around here, but I swear I will never compromise on safety. I can't tell you what I'm doing. Kids are watching on their tablet slash babysitter. It's okay, kid. They'll let you play outside someday. Day 252, I did a little more walling and paving, but then I had to poo. So let's see what Tors is doing. Hold on, what? I, I thought she was building a breeder. What is this? Yeah, there she is. She's looking at the old breeder. What's this building? 
What are you doing? There's no notes for this day. She didn't write any, so I guess we'll never know. My colon empty, I got back to walling day 253. And I finally found where that zombie came from. It's the tunnel to the old farm. For a grown man playing a children's game, he is super paranoid about monsters spawning. I wonder what goes through his head when he does this. They're gonna get you. They're, 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 Oh, woke up at the old house with tours. I have no memory of how I got here. I think we both just missed a day of recording because there's more cats to do now. The art isn't hard. The hardest part is actually getting the cat. So many were bred and left in the wild. Or put down. But it's worth it. Just look at that view. I'm gonna take credit for this one. Anyway, time to go to sleep for another productive day. Uh, who are you, stranger? It's just me, your husband, who loves you very much. I don't know who that is, but I can't be sure it's him just yet. I'm gonna go find more cats. And now I'm lost. Hey, uh, Luke, can you come get me? Why, certainly, my darling. Okay, yeah, it's him. He mansplained the coordinates to me. Day 256, we both took an adventure, looking for cats. There aren't many left now. Found a pillager outpost real close to home. I didn't tell her, but we're gonna do a raid. We need a white, black, and calico, and all others got a quick death. Don't you run away from me, I'll end you! Run! RUN! Found the white cat day 257 in a desert village. So now I've got to run all the way back home with it. I'm not too worried about myself. I've done this all the time. But Tors, on the other hand, well... I'm in a hole. They won't get me down here. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna. I got back home in a night. She should have listened when I mansplained coordinates. In the morning, I got the white cat into position and then welcomed Tors back home. But now we're looking at the mountain and we're thinking we want to change some things. It can't go all the way around. It just won't look right. We will figure this out. We still have to find the black cat. Oh, uh, why are you looking at me like that, honey? Your beauty. It's just stunning. Riz unmatched, now she's nude. This skin feels good. I feel like a new woman. And hey, matching couple outfits, how cute. Anyway, back to work for both of us. We went in opposite directions looking for black cats. We both found none. We're still both out, though tours didn't record. No cats, but I found a jungle. Despite playing for 260 days, we've never found one on this world. I took a screenshot. Maybe I'll surprise her one day with a panda. More nothing, but this game is infinite. I'll find it eventually. Yeah, still no black cats and because our rocket industry is terrible I've got to go back home right now or risk being stranded and it's been a few days so Torres is probably lost by now yeah I'm lost I should have listened to my very intelligent oh and handsome husband when he was explaining the coordinates to me very generously I just hope she's okay but if not she can always sleep in a hole we were not being lazy I looked absolutely everywhere for a black cat on my way home Torres too and we should have a black cat somewhere there was a witch's hut by our old house man this place brings back memories even from the beginning Torres was a naturally great landscaper now we're both back home no cats feeling a little defeated but I had an idea the last cat that Torres ever found for the Have All the Cats achievement was a black cat on day 194. She tamed the cat and then put it in a house in some far off desert village. Then we went to sleep and never came back. And somehow I had the foresight to have my coordinates up. So now I've got this black cat's IP address. Let's go get him. 5,000 blocks is nothing when you know exactly where you're going. And sure enough, there it was. Now 5,000 blocks on foot with cats and tours. That's another thing. Luke, you're not much of a pro gamer if you can't protect your wife in a block game for children. We almost lost the cat in a creeper explosion, that would have been tragic. A lot of the journey was over open desert, which made it easy. Another huge leg was on water. Worst part about that was getting the cats in boats. But once you're out there, water travels quick and safe, at least on the ocean. We did get hung up on a forest. Pushing through would likely be a mistake. So we dug out a hole, took one out of Torres' playbook. We didn't have beds, so I had to go negotiate some wool from some sheep. Hey kids, look who's here. It's Dad! Dad. This adventure's been fun, notable even. Now home is right over these mountains. It's pretty easy if you can fly, but pretty tough if you've got two cats. Kind of like recording a video with your husband, with a toddler, and while pregnant. I can't see you, I don't know where you are, but I want you to know that you're very appreciated, and I love you. And? And I will go to the vet and get neutered. Good. I love you too. Alrighty, now that we're home, we've got to figure out what to do with these cat heads. Cat heads are for bonkin'. The plan to make it all symmetrical is pretty simple. We just got to move one cat to the middle. And we chose the Binx head. The black cat was the hardest to find, but the easiest to make. He's all black. While he was doing art, I was doing something actually productive. We need money. Our beacon still isn't at max power. Bet you didn't think I cared about that, did ya? Hey Luke, it's time for bed. Get out of my way! It's time to cuddle! Today, the Binx head became a calico head. That was easy the worst one to build. Didn't help that the bees were constantly following me. They want my blue flower. Calico's looking calico. 
I'm sorry. I'm... I'm sorry. This should be the last day of cat construction. Just gotta install a white one. And on top of them all, I put a binx. While he did all that, I was already on to the next thing. I want a zoo. And I heard Luke knows where some pandas live. The cats were a fantastic idea. They're beautiful. I mean, look at them. The whole town, really. It's come a long way. We've truly made it ours. But it's day 269! Woo! Let's do it! We've always had this big open space here between the town and the farm, and now it's gonna be a zoo. Torres is in charge of building the prison, and I'll be responsible for the prisoners. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm fairly certain we can get it done before day 300, where we're doing a raid. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, I said when the zoo is done, we're gonna have cake. Today, I built an entrance and reminded Torres if she leaves the gates open, she will kill us all. This'll be a zoo of exotic animals, nothing like cows or pigs. We want the good stuff. Hey, there's gonna be a portal by the zoo. Just don't go through it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Like almost all of our builds, I'll be in the nether for most of it. It's a labor of love. The first animal on my list was a polar bear, but I got distracted by some llamas. They follow each other, so I only needed one lead. That was convenient. Wow, those are some ugly looking polar bears. Let's name them Yur and Mom. Got the polar bear too and dragged him by the neck all the way home. I find it a bit strange seeing a polar bear in the desert, but by the time my kids grow up, that'll be normal. No. Nah. Oh, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. They'll all be dead. The journey took so long because he just would not jump. Typical white. Have fun in prison. All I wanted to do today was go to the old house and get some sand, but Luke's needlessly complicated redstone had me stuck. Hey, honey, uh, how was your day? You can keep the creepers off my back, thank you very much. Yeah, she don't like my redstone, but she loves my cuddles. Yeah, I do. Set up an auto smelter for Torz's sand, day 273. Technically, there's no redstone. Then I had to poo. I drink black coffee. It's not my fault. While Luke was emptying his bowels, I was burning all the coal we had. You he never what? told me we built an auto smelter. It's not my fault. Well, I got you here. Can you get me more wool? I don't know where it all comes from. I just sell it. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, let me look into it. Now, I know I buried some sheep around here somewhere. Ah, there we go, the sheep farm. Long time no see. Torres, you're not certified in redstone. Why are you down here? I'm badly stuck. Thankfully, we got out. That could have turned into a live leak video. The sheep farm still outputs to the old storage. I'll fix it with some underground piping Torres won't know about. But there's more pressing matters, like animal abduction. Got a panda trapped in a hole. His life will be all downhill from here. Now, I just gotta get this panda 8,000 blocks back home. Should be simple. I'm still working on cages and no, I don't think it's too much glass. You're wrong. I know, I know. These are not pandas. These are giraffes. I was flying home and found them. I think Taurus will think they're exotic. Taurus loved them so much, the goats became the first animals to be locked in cages. However, these whites can jump, so we had to put the top on real quick. I'm liking how these cages turned out. They were made by her. Now I'm in the nether. I've got to build a panda tunnel. I've done this before, and the pandas are very prone to death. If it's two blocks wide and two blocks tall, the pandas won't suffocate in their own fat. And it really helps if it's all one level, which means I've got to do huge parts over open nether. These have been helpful panda abduction tips with Luke the Notable. So yeah, I'm pretty much just doing that. You should go check out what Tors is doing. Glass. 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 Glass, 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 glass. All right, pandas in the nether and in a boat. Now all I've got is a slow ride home. You know, glass, some days in glass, Minecraft glass, are just glass, like that. Glass, that's all you do. Glass, and you know, glass, that's okay. I actually did some enchanting on day 279. Luke's really got to figure out something for all those bees. I'm allergic. I'm determined to make a cage out of copper blocks too. The only problem is, well, I'm not sure how to get copper. I mined all day and all night looking for copper and I didn't find a single piece. I'm back in the jungle, day 280, looking for an ocelot. And I got lucky, found one almost immediately. However, I had to get him back through a real thick jungle. At some point I turned around and he wasn't there. I never did find him that day. Be free. Be free, little ocelot. I wasn't recording today. You know, it's important to live in the moment and not always record what you're doing. You never know when death may come. More surprises for Tors. I got two parrots. They'll fit in nice in the panda cage. He gave me parrots and I gave him a potato. Thank you. Oh, thank you, my darling. I, I will cherish this tater forever. I immediately went down to the anvil and named it. This is going in my offhand. No more bees. You're the greatest. Day 282, I was pooping. Again. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize, it's Tors time! I fixed the old farm tunnel. I've been asking Luke to do it for forever, so I just did it. I'll bill him. 
Hey, uh, you got some black spots. You should probably get that checked out. You made the skin. I went to the jungle because Luke said there was copper here, but I am so afraid. I was surprised to find that I felt safer in the caves than up in the thick jungle. I was worried about her the whole time. Every time she's died, it's been in caves. Listen here, I'm not the one who just fell down ah! an obvious hole in the nether. Who are you and why does my head hurt? You're so pretty. Now I'm getting some snow for the polar bears. I really should get them some sand though, get them used to their inevitable future. I got just way too much. It's a very small cage. Kind of sad, actually. The cages are appropriate and definitely adhere to all regulations. I know because I made the regulations and do the inspections and enforce any fines. So I guess I'm in charge of decorating the polar bears. That's fair. I did grab all the snow. Plus, Torres is working on the jungle one. It's right over the tunnel. Torres just finished renovating. I didn't want to have to rip it all out, but I'm gonna have to. Like I said, the cage is very small. There's really hardly room for anything in here, but for one polar bear, it should be fine. One of the very last steps will be lighting. Show Torres a magic trick here with some moss carpet. Yeah, there probably shouldn't be torches on the ground in an animal exhibit. It's all nearly done, but there's always gonna be little things in Minecraft, like this old tunnel that I had to redo because of the polar bears. You know, like little bits of sod here and there. Bro, you know how long it took me to cut that grass? And then you just grow it right back? Your wife likes the grass, so the grass stays. I'm not gonna argue with that logic, so I spent my time building probably the nicest rock I've ever built. And for llamas, ugh. I had a pretty bad scare today. I was just going into the ocelot cage to finish things up when Wild Binks escaped! Luke! Help! I don't have a lead. He's in the bushes, and I don't want to startle him. Don't you run away from me! Safe and sound. What have we learned? I have learned that once contained, Life will always attempt to free itself. And it is my duty to snuff out the flames of hope forever and always. You know, we started construction on the zoo so quickly I never fully cleaned up the cats. Yep, that was about it for me. How about you, honey? I tried to make it more homey for WB. I only ended up waterboarding him. Oh, and when I went to bed, there was some creepy guy standing in the corner. Just one more week till our day 300 raid. I've got to make these walls higher. I've never done a raid with two people before, and I imagine it's going to be easier, but you can never be too careful. It only takes one ravager to wreck an entire village. Oh, I don't care about the villagers. Not at all. I can make more of them. It's the landscaping. There's a giant open field right by our breeder, and I think that's the spot where we're gonna do the raid. So I fortified this area much harder. I didn't stop at a simple wall. Sweet berry bushes are unironically one of the best defenses in the game. I also built up the corner. This is where Torres will sit, firing arrows with her infinity bow. It's airtight and impassable. Should work fine. Oh yeah, get through that. Just try. While he did that, I put the finishing touches on the zoo. I had to have some fun. In a few days, I'll be conscripted into his notable army. I watched him do some building from afar. I could tell he was really enjoying himself. And guess what? Luke's not recording for once, it's torch time! I spent the entire day farming. I enjoy it. This is me, living my life. I know Luke almost exclusively flies, but I like to walk through the town, see all my hard work. But now, Torz is not recording. Ah! <laughs> I showed her what I was up to yesterday, making our old offices into safe rooms for the raid. Basically, we will sleep here before the raid, and if we die, this is where we will spawn. Not to mention our super new and slick logo. Then we both took some time locking the town down. This simple step can save you on some adoption paperwork. Wow, look at this. For once, we were both recording. This day was filled with both of us settling our affairs, because tomorrow, we start a raid. I'm a little nervous. You shouldn't be. We've been over this. We've got a plan. You'll be shooting arrows and I'll be in the field. Hopefully on a good horse. We both had quite some fun checking out some different horses and double euthanizing those that did not make our standard. I mean, come on. He deserved it. Eventually, I settled on the best horse I could find, only to find a better horse literally already in the town. Well, if she lives, I'll give her a very heroic name. I still remembered the location of a pillager outpost, so we headed over day 298. Luckily, we got Bad Omen almost immediately. We were very careful to then fly around the town. We wanted to start the raid on our defenses. And when the raid started, well, Nothing happened. I'm not sure why I was worried about this raid. It doesn't seem hard at all. Yeah, I've seen this before, and I think I know what we've got to do. <gasps> no, you don't mean. No! I'm so sorry, Witchy. He's making me do this. I'll always remember you. We were an unstoppable duo. Literally, easiest raid I've ever completed. I like raids as long as I'm standing far away, safe from harm, while also being able to harm others. Even so, tragically, the nameless horse will forever remain unnamed. I'm gonna be honest though, I watched the footage back and uh, 10 out of 10, Tors definitely shot the horse, just saying. At this time, I would like to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. I will remain 
silent until I have conversed with my team of attorneys. We did it. I knew we would. Both of us felt pride. Well, every good war needs a monument, so that's what we're doing day 299. It's a monument to the one casualty we care about. The unnamed horse. She fought bravely until Tor shot her. Allegedly! Until Tor's allegedly shot her. Not only does this new monument look fantastic, but by standing on top it can be used to kill more pillagers. Well, anyway, it's been a long day. Come on, Binks, let's all go to bed. Day 300. It's absolutely beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, all we did all day was go around town and marvel at our creation. We know we kept you waiting for this one, so we just hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Of course, there will be more, so make sure to subscribe. Tours will be sad if you don't. Thank you all for watching. Stay notable. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!